it is common for the users to be able to perform some filtering and searching on the resources. So what is actually the difference between filtering and searching? Filtering applies a predicate to return a collection. We pass in a value or a predicate and we want each of the elements in the collection to match it. Searching, on the other hand, searches a collection based on predefined set of rules. We don't pass in field name that should be matched, instead we pass in a value to search for. So filtering allows us to be precise. And we can keep adding filters until we get exactly the result we want. Searching allows us to go wider and is often used when we don't know exactly what items we want in the collection. So we're going to implement the filter on the main genre when getting bands. Currently, we only have an action that simply gets all the bands, regardless of what genre each of the band plays. So what we can do here is to apply a filter, or in other words, we will apply a string for the genre that we want the bands to be returned. So we will pass an argument of string and I'll call it main genre. So this argument would be part of the URI and since this is a URI, it will come from query. Another way to pass it is from body. The difference is that from body typically applies for complex types, like objects for example. These would come, for example, from a form. However, a simple string can be simply typed inside the URI and therefore it comes from query. And we don't have to specify it here because we are using API controller, so it would know that this is coming from query, but we can be explicit and simply say that this argument is coming from query. So now we have to go to our repository and implement this overload. So let's open our repository. So that's the band album repository. And down here we have two methods, get bands with no arguments and also get bands that has the argument of I enumerable for the IDs for bands. And we're going to create one more and this time it's gonna be with the overload that expects a string as an argument. So let's create a public i enumerable since it's gonna return a collection of bands. And I'll call it get bands. But this time it will expect a string that I'll call again main genre. First thing we need to make sure that the argument is supplied correctly. So let's do any statement and we will check if the string is null or white space. So we will use the is null or white space because we don't want just the spaces either. That's not a valid genre. And we are checking for the main genre. And if this is the case, then we don't want to actually throw an error. Instead, we want to simply execute get bands. We will get all the bands. Because if the argument for the genre is not supplied, we'll simply return all the bands. So we will return get bands. Otherwise, we will return only the bands that match the main genre. So first, I will trim it just in case there's some spaces in between. So my main genre will equal main genre dot trim. And now we can return all the bands that match this genre. So we will return and we'll go to our context. And in this case, we are going to bands data set. And we'll filter it down to where we only want the bands where the bands main genre matches the argument main genre. And we'll convert the result to list. So very simple. So since we added new method in our repository, we should also add it to our interface. 
so I'll open iBand album repository and I will add this method so it returns i enumerable of band it's get bands and it expects a string for the main genre so now let's go back to our controller and now when we pass the main genre we can now pass the argument into a call to the repository so here when we call in the get bands method we can pass in the main genre all right so let's run it and let's see how we can filter our result so let's change our request to get and we go to api slash bands and let's just run it and get all the bands and here are all the bands as expected now to use our filter we will simply use a question mark and type our parameter which is the main genre and we want this to be let's say rock now let's run this and we only get one band which is guns and roses let's change this to heavy metal and you can see that it expects even a space because that's how we have it set up in our database and it's returning our metallica band now what if I supply an empty argument for the main genre? Let's send this and you can see we display all the bands. Now this is not the same as if we supplied a wrong genre or a non-existent genre. Let's see what happens when we do that. And you can see we get back an empty collection and we still get 200 OK because this is not an error. It simply returns an empty collection because we try to filter it down to a genre that doesn't exist so the returning resource is an empty collection and this is how we want it to behave if we supply a wrong value for our parameter then we return an empty collection if we don't supply any value but we still try to have a parameter in our uri then we will supply all the bands Alright, so this is our filter for getting the bands. And next, let's also implement a searching query in our getBands method.